Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Pastor Core here, and uh, really excited about the end of the summer as we get ready for the fall uh, kickoff here at Tomoka Christian Church. Listen, again, we, we say it every week, but I certainly want to take the time to just thank you guys for everything you did this summer. Uh, camp was an absolute success at North Florida. More kids than ever attended camp this summer. More kids made decisions for Jesus than ever before. And many of you at Tomoka served at many of the weeks at camp. And so a huge thank you to you guys. The mission trips were a success all over the world. And you guys did a phenomenal job taking the message and the love of Jesus all over the world. The outreaches, the backpacks, everything. Just once again, as Joe constantly says, it's just an honor to be a pastor here at Tomoka and to watch the church be the church all over the world. And and as we get ready for the fall, uh, man, we're excited again. Uh, we are getting ready to kick off our Believe series, which is the follow-up series to the story that we just went through last year. And we can't be more excited about what this is going to offer all of you. You know, it's difficult to be able to grow when sometimes the only way you grow is through just weekly attendance at church. Believe is going to give us a chance to not just walk through the Bible, but to really grow roots deep so when life storms come, you'll be able to hang on to your faith. And so we're kicking this off the second week of September, but right now these books are available at the nation's market. You can pick those up as we continue to make those available to you. We're going to be signing up for Believe groups the last weekend of August, and uh, so you guys can begin to formulate groups. We have over 50 facilitators already. We're looking for 50 more so we can have over 100 Believe groups doing the same thing that the story groups did a Along the way, and so we're excited to be able to offer that as well. This weekend, Pastor Joe is going to be able to is going to be preaching from Job chapter forty two, and if you're familiar with Joe's story at all, you know that his life was full of all kinds of tragedy, from the death of his children to the loss of everything he had, and Job's friends being terrible counselors. Job had a lot on his plate. But at the end of Job's life, he has a conversation with God that teaches us how we can connect this world to the world that we sometimes don't always don't feel connected to. This is a, uh, a beautiful gift I was given this week from a good friend who loves Jesus and loves good sports teams. But the reason she gave me this cup was to try to connect us and me to her business. She wanted to find a way to bridge the gap between what she was selling and what we needed to buy. That's a lot like Job 42. We learn in Job's prayer and his conversation with God that there's a way to connect God to our lives and God to our friends' lives. And so we really want to encourage you guys to come back and take a part of that weekend where Joe, Joe gets to preach on Job 42 and how we can connect what we're doing here to what God expects of us. Listen, we love you. We're so grateful to be a part of the church here with you. God bless you, and we'll see you this weekend.